Now we have some insight on what a servo is, but we haven't yet described how a servo gets things done. We put a servo to work by making it part of a motion control system. At the input to the servo amplifier is a controller. The controller provides the commands that dictate when and how the servo motor will move. The controller sends commands to the amplifier in the form of an analog signal or data. The controller and the amplifier also exchange position feedback from the encoder. Connected to the controller, you'll find an operator interface. The interface is used to start, stop, and adjust the various functions of the machine. Interfaces can be simple buttons and indicator lamps, or they may be a more complex human-machine interface, or HMI. On the other end of the process, the servo motor is connected to a mechanical system that it moves, the servo mechanism. This is a common example, a simple linear actuator that translates the servo motor's rotary motion into linear motion, in this example using a screw. This is only a simple example. The mechanisms used in industry can be complex and diverse, depending on the job that needs to be done and the imagination and expertise of the machine builder. While these five components exist in every motion control system, some manufacturers have designed units that combine one or more of these components. This is an example of a unit that includes both a controller and an amplifier. Combining components means fewer parts, fewer connections, and a smaller footprint, and greater convenience.